It's been a heartbreaking and devastating day, Rhea. Many of the athletes I reached out to just to, just to check in either did not respond or couldn't find the words to explain this tragedy. And that's exactly what it is, a tragedy. Breaking news, this time in North Houston, where police say they are investigating a deadly crash. We know multiple vehicles are involved and at least two people are dead. The messages started just before midnight on Tuesday. It was news nobody expected. Dion Lendor, TNT's three-time Olympian, had died in a car accident in Texas at the age of 29. Somehow the driver lost control of that truck and it uh, crossed over the median right behind me and struck a Kia, which was traveling eastbound, which in turn then struck the tow truck, which you see behind me, which was towing a vehicle at the time. His death was sudden as it was tragic. Initial reports indicate he had just finished training. The news sent shockwaves across the country. Morning shows were the first to react. It's a sobering and, and very, very somber and very sad situation. TTOC President Brian Lewis told Jason Williams on The Morning Brew only days ago the London 2012 bronze medalist talked of his excitement ahead of the World Championships and Commonwealth Games this year. It is a devastating and heartbreaking loss. Lendo had begun planning for life after track. In his final interview with CNC3 before the Olympics last year, he told us he wanted to live a little. Once I reach 30, you know, I'm looking to move on with life, you know, start a regular life, live and enjoy life and, you know, support track from the sidelines and lend a hand with Trinidad and Tobago track and field as much as I can. Leading the tributes was Minister of Sport Shamfa Kujo, who hailed Lendo as a trailblazer and an inspiration. Opposition leader Kamla Basad Bissessa said the country has lost an outstanding athlete and a true national hero. Queen's Royal College Principal David Simon remembered how he was as a student. He was a good student um, who had the challenge of ensuring that he could balance his athletic progress with the academic um, requirements. From a young age, the quarter miler always seemed on course for great things. He won two silver and a bronze at two Carifta Games. He would go on to compete at three Olympics, anchoring Trinidad and Tobago to bronze in the men's 4x4 relay in 2012. In the years that followed, he found more success at the World Championships. Indoor, he won three bronze medals. Outdoor, he won a relay silver. But his last international act would not be on the track, but these images showed Lendor pushing the wheelchair of Dwight St. Hilaire after the young sprinter had pulled up in the Olympic 4x4 final in Tokyo. His life was much more than medals. That's a feeling essentially for those close to Dion Lendor. He was a, a larger-than-life character, Rhea. We'll have much more for you on his sudden death later in sport.